I love how my eyes are looking. This is literally, I just need someone to take me on a date right now. I feel like I was dozing and waking up on that date. But hey, it was this from the bar. I was like, lock, bye. <laughs> Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am chit-chatting with you all as we do our makeup for a Valentine's Get Ready With Me. This is the week where either you're looking through your social media and you realize how single your ass really is. This is how I feel. Or you're one of those people who's dating and you can't wait to post with your loved one. Can't relate. But even if you have a date on Valentine's or you're a single teen, you don't really need an excuse to glam up and get ready. And today as I do my makeup, I'm using some super affordable makeup as well as some new makeup that are shopped on Amazon Beauty. They are running some great offers and discounts on their website right now. I'm going to leave all the links for you in the description box so it's super easy for you all to shop from there. I've come up with a simple neutral glam makeup look. This is something that I would wear if I had a lunch date or a dinner date. It's very universal with a nude dress, with a red dress. No matter what color of your outfit is, this kind of makeup look will go with everything. And I'm also chatting about some major date fails I've had over the years of my dating life and dating experience. So you really need to grab a snack for this one because you're going to have a hilarious laugh. So if you want to know how I got this look and also want to have a good laugh, then continue watching. But before that, if you're new here, then hi, I'm Sarah. Hit the subscribe button, join the Sarah squad. It would mean the world to me. We are so, so close to being 50,000 Sarah squad. Please help me get there super soon. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. And with that, let's dive into this. All right, so let's get started. I, of course, always start all of my makeup videos with cleansing my face. Do not sit to do your makeup with a dirty face. You're just going to end up like letting that bacteria infest and cause so much skin damage in the long run. So always, always cleanse your face. I've gone ahead and done that with my Derma Weave Hydra Cleanser before I start to film my video, of course. I love how gentle this face wash is. It's very, very good for my sensitive skin type because it's also soap-free as well as fragrance-free. Next, to add some moisturization, I'm using my Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. Just gonna take a little bit. Love this as a pre-makeup base. Actually, I took a lot. I'm gonna drag this all over my neck as well. It's a very nice moisturizer. It's also fragrance free as well and great for combination as well as oily skin type because it's not at all heavy on your face you can use very little it'll go a long way I have because hands are becoming super dry in the winter next I'm gonna go in with primer I'm using my inside cosmetics 3 in 1 prime protect and moisturize I really do love this primer I only tried it once I think I was doing a challenge video where I was doing a beginner's makeup kit under 2000 and after that I have loved it I've used it in so many videos because it's a very nice silicone based primer that honestly makes your makeup last super long you can just concentrate it around your pore region makes my makeup last long it doesn't make my skin oily and it reduces the appearance of my pores what else can I ask from a primer that literally just costs around 200 rupees just spread it around the rest of your face so you're giving a nice base to your makeup this step is important because it makes your makeup last really long next for foundation I'm using the sugar ace of the face foundation foundation stick this is the first time i'm trying it out i got mine on amazon beauty and this is the shade 57 romano i know a lot of y'all enjoy sugar makeup and that is the reason i want to try it out this looks like my shade now in the serum based foundation i'm 52 coretto uh, this is 57 romano let me see it does look like my shade right it, it i think it looks a little darker but it's okay i think i'll make it work i definitely think i can make it work the coverage looks pretty promising and I love how it's gliding on my face. I don't know if I'm overdoing it. I really like full coverage foundation. I mean, I'm going to drag some down my neck as well. I'm not a big fan of stick foundations to be honest, but this one glided super easily on my face. Like, did you see that? It just glided like butter. It's blending also really well. I think the shade match is pretty, pretty apt. If it oxidizes, then shyad my skin or dark lagegi. But abhi ke liye it looks fine to me. Anyway, the concealer I'm planning to use is a tad bit lighter for my skin. So I think I can balance it out. While I'm blending my foundation away, let's talk about my first date fail. I think let's throw it back to my first ever date only. Um, that was in the 8th standard. I didn't even know I was on a date, but I didn't know I was on a date. That was the kind of situation we were at that time. Uh, where uh, I went out with one of my building friends at that time like I'm like hushing and talking softly because my family's at home even though they're gonna watch this video later on doesn't make sense 
but yeah so uh, i went out with him he was a building friend and we were very good friends for a very long time but we had never gone out now see i was from a girl school okay when you're in a girl school going out with boys is not a normal phenomena it doesn't happen very often but uh, because i was in a girl school and i was not around guys a lot it was not normal for a lot of people who i was studying with in school but for me it was because i used to go to a lot of like my mom put me in a lot of extra classes where i was friends with a lot of boys over there like i had boys in my friend circle it's not like i was like going around only with them but i had boys in my friend circle it was normal but i realized that being in a girl school it was not normal for a lot of people in school so anyway that being said when i went out with him so so because we were like building friends and everything we knew each other since a while but we had never gone out as a bahar so one day he was like let's go to mcdonald's and i was like sure why not okay so he was like so i'll pick you up after tuition and we'll meet like halfway so that we don't meet in the building because the society he stayed in was really conservative and like so i was like ha theek hai na matlab tuition se main aa rahi hu you pick me up on the way i was not understanding like i was very dumb yaar i was in 8th standard i got, couldn't pick up the cues now of course if guys say like certain things you just know that this guy's intention is to date you he's trying to get his game on you know like you know how it's going like by the time i'm 22 i understand where a conversation is headed but when i was 12 i did not 10 years back dude i did not understand this foundation is beautiful by the way the coverage is absolutely stunning and it blended like a freaking dream uh just feel like bahut zyada product maine use kiya but fir bhi i didn't get coverage enough by the way there is a brush at the back of this which looks like a very stiff kabuki brush i think it will work let me try let me try um let me just blend it a little bit on my acne scars that i have over here that i want coverage on it's very stiff this brush if you want to like patchwork the way i'm doing right now like just touch ups then i think it will work but other than that using a sponge is much faster Okay I really really like this foundation I think the coverage is really super good it does of course have some like amount of tackiness to it you need to set it with powder but the finish is like semi matte so uh, for an oily skin girl you will love this if you're a dry skin type maybe you need to add some facial oils to make it look like really dewy and hydrating next let's go in with concealer i'm using the l'oreal infallible full wear corrector and concealer this is in the shade beige and i use very little because the shade is slightly light for me you can go a shade darker if you are um nc 43.5 in mac so i'm just going to take thoda so i really like the full coverage finish of this concealer which is why i continue to use it uh next time i will shop for this and i will get the correct shade i will leave all of the links to shop all of this makeup in the description box so don't forget to check it out okay i'm taking the tip part of my beauty sponge blending this in just going dabbing motions be gentle around your eye area can you see so little product went such a long way and it is definitely light but we will make it work later on with powder and everything it will work so yeah we went to mcdonald's he picked me up after tuition and uh, we chilled we had a burger we had fries and everything and then when we were paying the bill i'm a very stubborn person when it comes to paying bills okay i have to pay my bill myself no matter with whom i am is apart from family of course uh, i don't let anybody pay my bill not a friend not a relative not a uh, like a guy or date a boyfriend nobody like i just feel like it's best that way because uh, hello i just ate that food you don't you're not obligated to pay my bill especially abhi tak na like till i was 22 any guy i would date was not really working like they don't have their own jobs you're paying with your father's money so why would you pay for me pay for yourself why should your father be funding me when you start earning then you should you know have that attitude like my father's paying my bills your father's paying your bills you pay your bill and get out so that's the kind of concept i've always had in my head and that's the way i was brought up that's how i think i don't let anybody especially you know later on honestly just tell me if you vibe with me on this later on when you break up with that person or if you're not with that person anymore wo guilt hota hai ki bhai kitna paisa kharcha ho gaya us pe like high maintenance thi bahut aisa nahi lagna chahiye like i am high maintenance but i pay my own bills so i don't want to hear from anyone else that oh you're so high maintenance so what do you want to date you like i am paying my own bills so that should not really be your concern about how expensive i am to maintain right so yeah that is the one thing so i was so stubborn i was like no i'm going to pay for this and i didn't know i was on a date na i was like um, like you know when you go to get the burger after that he like was not giving me the bill and i know the price of the burger so i was like le cash le like le nahi raha tha dude and it's na hairan kar raha tha mujhe to take the cash i literally fought with him on that and then after that we were anyways going to take different autos and go home cuz building mein nahi pata chalna chahiye ki hum bahar gaye the to 
I took a different auto and just went home. I did not talk to him at all. And then later on, he texted me. You know, that time we had those Nokia phones and we had text message. There was no WhatsApp and shiz. So, uh, yeah, he texted me and he was trying to explain that, hey, I like you. I was hoping that we could date and, you know, you would be my girlfriend. <laughs> oh my God, he's a bully. I'm so happy. But I was like, oh, so that is what that was. And then, I, of course, you know, he was being very cute, so I had to forgive him. Tabhi. Then we did date for a week. <laughs> that is it. Because, look, I don't feel that way. From the beginning, if I didn't feel that way, you can't expect me to just start feeling it, right? I'm a very straightforward person, dude. I'm too, I think I'm too straightforward only because I can't fake it. Like, you'll know if I'm faking it. Because that time, like, he was, like, constantly then, you know, because we were dating, he would constantly text message. There was no WhatsApp. There was no fast social media. Tabhi. It was text message. So, tuition ke beech mein, I used to get his messages all the time. And I didn't have reply. Karne mein, main, I was very studious. Huh? If I'm at tuition, I'm at tuition. I'm studying. You can't disturb me. So, that's the reason I was like, dude, this is affecting my studies. I'm sorry. I have to score well. I have to do well in school. This is not the time. We can continue to be friends. That never worked out. It never works out to be friends later on. But yeah, that is how that went. A very fail first date of my life. He thaw. And uh, it was a fail, of course. <laughs> it's time. What do you expect? Okay, I'm going to set my concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium. I'm going to take a little bit of my Elf Powder Brush and very lightly dust it wherever I've put concealer and just on the remaining of my face as well. See, now you can see like my foundation shades and everything have balanced out. Nothing is looking too dark or too light or everything. So because the foundation has oxidized thodu sa, so it's a ashy lag rai. But once bronzer, blush, highlight, everything comes into place, I think it will add the perfect dimension. Next for my face, I'm using this palette by Sugar. It's the Contour Diffuse palette in the shade 01 Subtle Summit. This is what it looks like. It has three shades, a bronzer, a highlight and a blush. The blush is really pretty, but I do have another blush also from Sugar, which is their mini blush in the shade Pink Pinnacle. And so I will use the bronzer and highlight. Now the bronzer I feel might be thoda light for me. Dekhte agar kuch karta hai. Taking some amount of product on my bronzer brush and I'm just going to add some warmth. It's actually really pretty. It is a good color. The shade is actually a pretty good match. Huh? It's adding the perfect amount of warmth and because it has thoda cool tones, na, the contouring shade is perfect. Hai. I have a complete video on how to like contour and how to add dimension to your face. If you've not checked it out, I'm going to link it for you here. For blush, I'm using this Sugar Mini Blush in the shade Pink Pinnacle. Uh, it's a very pinky color actually. I am very inclined towards using this blush because it's more mauve toned. But let's take thodusa this also and thoda sa wo bhi like we'll mix and match. It's not very pigmented. Like in first swipe thoda sa yaar hai, which I like. I don't like my blushes to be super pigmented because sometimes I'm going for a really rosy vibe and sometimes I'm just going for a simple vibe. And this is a Valentine's makeup look so I think I'll load up on the blush. So if you're going on a date, can't relate. But if you're going on a date, your date should feel like you're blushing from within. And yeah, I think after that I've had good date experiences. They've been good. There was no fighting over paying the bill. Uh, it was very clear from the beginning because I made it very clear from the beginning that I will pay my own bill. After that, a couple of times, like as I grew up and I was going out with men who were working and paying their own bills and if they were stubborn about, you know, I, I will pay the bill kind of thing that men have. So I was like, ha, chalo, theek hai. Uh, it's not your dad's money, it's your money, right? So to each one's own, if you want to spend it on me, it's your call. So yeah, and I feel like to any girl watching and if you feel like you want to go on dates and not pay the bills, it's completely your call. But I always recommend that you do and if you feel like the place you're going is too expensive you can't afford it don't go to that place like go to a place you can afford especially initial days may always like i nowadays realize that guys even like the fact that i pay the bill like i am that or like they they feel good by the fact that okay i am financially stable enough to be paying my bills later on you know if the guy doesn't have enough money they will want to go out less they will not want to interact with you a lot i also feel like if you create that boundary in the beginning only paise ke jagah pe ki ha tu tera kharcha kar main mera kharcha karti agar gifting gifting hai to of course dude you can gift as much as you want but at least when you're going out and stuff so that even the guys don't feel insecure about going to expensive places or taking you out a lot because uh, they, it's their money that's getting spent, you know, because I know in relationships sometimes when I've been like with my guy friends, they tell me that I don't want to go because I don't have money, so I don't want to go out and then I make excuses. Banata this is what my guy friends tell me, you know. Um, I, I 
Guess I just never think of money as an issue. That's because you have it. That's a good point. <laughs> I've heard about it and that's the reason I would tell all my girlfriends, all of y'all that please make sure that y'all are going to places you can afford as well and y'all are paying your own bills for as long as for as long as you can in fact even after marriage i was going to say for as long as you don't get married but even after marriage do it i think it's split responsibility and it's perfect and a date doesn't always have to be in a restaurant okay i've gone to dates at marine lines where i'm having chana so it's fine that's also a date because it's pretty it's cute it's the company that matters a date is always about the company and then after that i think my next not a bad dating experience but a bad like first first time experience was at this club so after first year uh, this end of second year i think the start of second year after first year of medical undergrad i went out with my girlfriends uh, our results came out and we went to the club and we were like you know okay let's go out dancing you know chilling and everything to hum bahar gaye the and um, मतलब मजे कर रहे थे इट वॉज डांसिंग बॉलीवुड नाइट था तो दैट्स आर फेवरेट लाइक माई फेवरेट थिंग टू डू विद माई गर्ल फ्रेंड इज गो फॉर डांसिंग बॉलीवुड नाइट एंड इट वॉज सो मच फन वी वॉज थ्री ऑफ आर सो वी डेन हैव अ बिग ग्रुप बट इट वॉज टू मच टू मच फन आई मैं टेक दिस हाईलाइटिंग शेड राइट हियर ओ इट्स अ लिटिल डस्टी बी केयरफुल अबाउट दैट लेट्स सी हाउ प्रिटी इट इज ओ वेरी प्रिटी वेरी ब्लिंगी आर आई लव इट वाओ आई लव इट I love a good highlight. So yeah, Punjabi गाने बज रहे थे हम मस्त नाच रहे थे पूरी रात लाइक आई थिंक क्लब बंद हुआ डेढ़ बजे वन थर्टी टू ओ क्लॉक एंड तब तक हम नाच रहे थे तो लाइक इन द मिडल देर वर दिज बिग ग्रुप्स लाइक बॉय ग्रुप्स एंड बिग ऑफिस ग्रुप्स एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड देर वॉज इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट वी जस्ट जेल्ड इन टू अन नादर ग्रुप एंड स्टार्ट डांसिंग विद अनादर ग्रुप एंड दिस वन गाय फ्रॉम दैट ग्रुप वॉज What did you dance with me only? So maybe, I mean, you know, in the flow of it, I was dancing. But my girlfriends are super protective of me. So, where I was dancing, they were also dancing. I mean, they were so hell bent on that. And it was around 12 o'clock. It was around 12 o'clock. Then after that, we were tired. So, we went to our table. Pe and we like closed our tab for the night like we closed our drinks and food menu and we were like theek hai hum bill bhar dete uske baad there was a drink that came to my table and i was like very clear to the waiter i was like humne to pay kar diya na bill to ye kahan se tum la rahe ho so it's like ma'am it's for you that uh, guy at the bar has sent it and i was like mm. This is the first time that this has happened to me. Yeah, ऐसा होता नहीं है ज़्यादा इंडिया में. And उसी दिन ना I was like at the club and we were like talking all of us. And I was telling them that ऐसा इंडिया में कभी होगा ही नहीं कि you're like sitting and some guy buys you a drink and stuff like that. That's only for movies and Hollywood things. But that actually happened and. उसी बात से आई वॉज सो मेसमराइज कैन यू मैन लुक एट द गाय और एनथिंग अच्छा ही दिखता था ऐसा कुछ बुरा नहीं था बट आई डेंट लुक एट इट आई वॉज वेरी इंप्रेस बाय द जस्टर बिकॉज आई वॉज डांसिंग विथ हिम एंड देन ही हेड एंड गॉट मी अर ड्रिंक सो देन ऑफ कोर्स बिकॉज ही गॉट मी अर ड्रिंक आई वॉज अब्लाइज टू हैव द ड्रिंक विथ हिम एंड कांट जस्ट हैव इट अलोन सो देन आई वेंट वॉक टू ओवर टू द बार एंड माई गर्ल फ्रेंड like hawks they were watching us like a hawk and they did not like they wanted to dance because acche gaane baj rahe the but they were like nazar mere pe tikaye rakhe the like my friends are everything dude so i'm just going to set my face before we move along with this story i've used the maybelline lasting fix setting spray by the way and love this stuff it's so good it will just make your makeup lock in place it will not move at all and then just do this trick where you pick up any excess product with a sponge so that no matter what you do after your date your makeup doesn't move so for my eyes i want to use this kiro beauty eyeshadow stick uh, which is very pretty i swatched it earlier on my hands it's really beautiful but i can't just use the eyeshadow stick so i'm going to use this palette by wet and wild this is the stop playing safe palette i've used it before and i absolutely love the wet and wild eyeshadows very easy to blend if you're on a budget or even if you're not you can try these out absolutely love them i'm starting with this transition color right here this is the shade of my skin tone I'm putting this shadow all over my lid as well as crease so yeah i went a across the bar and i started talking to him and it was a nice time i completed my drink i spoke to him after that also we danced i think we exchanged numbers as well that night because he did end up texting me the next morning but the freak that i am the next morning i blocked him <laughs> when he texted me cuz my friends were like galat number dena chahiye tha na sahi number kaun dete i don't know like this was my first time na giving somebody my number at the bar so i was like not very comfortable with it that night so i did it as i you know flow me aake in the conversation was good the dance was good nothing was bad about anything maybe he was a really really nice guy to be with but i just did not like the whole vibe of it so in the next morning 
customers I woke up and I had a text from an unknown number and he did tell me that hey it was this I don't remember the name right now but hey it was this from the bar I was like lock bye <laughs> Tell me that was normal of me to do because I feel bad otherwise. I'm taking this pinky rosy nude color, very pretty shade, and I'm gonna put it on my outer as well as inner corner. Soft strokes on the inner corner. I really like a halo eye for my hooded eyes. And now that I'm thinking of more dating fails, I can't really think of anything. Uh, it's not because like I've had good dates only, I've not had that many dates only because. Like these are those very one-off incidents that I've actually got someone that I've gone out out with. Other than that, it's only like if I get in a relationship and then the dates are good. They are never fails. There was this one more time that that's very off late recently. That was not honestly a fail, but I went out with this guy I met on a dating app. It was like we went to a coffee shop and then we started talking. And uh, of course, that's how it is, right? Always. I met him like during the daytime in a very crowded coffee shop. And he was from a similar professional line as me, not a YouTuber, no, from the medical line. So I thought we would have a lot of things in common to talk about. But it was so awkward. He was such a slow talker. Like he was talking. S T O A. And what does that stand for? The slow. Talkers of America. America. Like, you know how fast I talk? I need people to talk just as fast. And he was so slow. Honestly, I, I feel like I was dozing and waking up on that date. Like, at, the, at some point in the date, I was just like, hmm, hmm. And if people talk slowly, I zone out. Like, I'm an Aquarius. I will zone out like this in your conversation. And I have multiple windows in my mind open. So I will just switch my mind to something and then come back. Like to your conversation, if you ask an opinion, he was like taking his pauses and talking softly, and we didn't talk about the medical at all. So he had a lot of like side hustles going on, like a lot of side stuff he would do apart from his medical practice, and he was more into that, like talking more about those passions of his which were not at all relatable to me. To kuch bhi common nita. Like of course I swiped right on him, thinking ke, oh he's a medical practitioner, you know, so we'll have something in common to talk about because that's always what I look at. कुछ तो बात करने के लिए होना चाहिए ना ब्रो तुम क्या ही करोगे डेट पे जाके वरना बट देन आई डिड नॉट हैव एनीथिंग गुड टू टॉक टू हिम अबाउट सो इट वाज प्रेरी फेल एंड वाज वेरी बोरिंग इन फैक्ट आई एम जस्ट पुटिंग द सेम आई शैडो द पिंक वन आई यूज ऑन माय लोअर लैश लाइन एज वेल एंड जस्ट स्मोकिंग इट आउट now for the exciting bit i'm taking the kiro beauty eyeshadow stick this is in the shade sandy copper it's a very beautiful coppery gold color and i'm going to put it on the middle of the lid that i've kept bare it glides on very smoothly and it is pretty pigmented so 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 easy to use if in fact the person who doesn't know how to use makeup at all this is super easy to do and i really like everything that this brand stands for they are ophthalmologically tested their skin care infused toxin free paraben free sulfate free i had been seeing them around quite a while and i wanted to try it out for the longest time and uh, today i was swatching it and i was really excited to play with it and i think it is very pretty i'm craving some highlight so i'm going to go in back with the sugar highlight palette i'm taking this on the flat brush and i'm just going to place it in the middle just to add some more depth to this halo look just looks like a spotlight halo effect can you see how different these two eyes look just by doing that simple thing now to draw a winged eyeliner i'm using the kiro beauty waterproof soft matte eyeliner pen it has a very long and nice felt tip so i'm going to go from my outer corner and wing it out and join it with your actual lid oh my god i just remembered another one oh shit this was funny this was so funny okay so the date was Okayish, that it was not bad. So this was with one of my current, like it was a proper, like we were in a relationship ish, ish not relationship, like dating sort of. Okay, so around I think a month later we actually went out out. Tabi tab only like texting scenes were on because both of us had exams and we were busy. I think the date was fine apart from like because you know so I. Even if I go out with vegetarians, I will always order non-veg. No matter what, I will always order non-veg. I cannot eat veg after going to a restaurant, bro. I'm not paying to eat veg. Okay, <laughs> like for my waterline, I'm using the Kiro Beauty High Defining Soothe Eyeliner Pencil uh, in the shade Earth Brown. So again, a nice browny nude color. I'm just gonna use it on my waterline. It 
super pigmented you guys i'm surprised i want to curl my lashes and so yeah so because he was vegetarian and i was of course not vegetarian he of course ordered different things but you know when you're going out on a date after so long of being with each other you already have spoken about so many things in common so like if you're at the date you will talk about the things that are happening around you the whole freaking restaurant was empty it was empty we had nothing to like talk around like about anything and there was an ipl match going on at the back and both of us don't watch cricket so there was like nothing to relate to also i surprisingly went to the same club that i went, like where i got a drink the other time but i think this date was before that and i'm forgetting the timelines i'm really messed up with the timelines but it was the same place i remember that much and uh, yeah so it was so so boring after point we were like running out of conversational topics cuz jitna hamare paas common mein tha humne already phone pe baat kar li thi before coming on this date and then uske baad we had nothing in common and khane ke bare mein bhi baat nahi kar sakte you can't even share food and be like oh this is so tasty oh you should try this cuz he can't try my food and i don't want to try his food so it got a little awkward there i'm using the maybelline hyper curl mascara and i'm just going to coat my lashes Okay for my lips I'm using the Sugar Wooded by Nude lip liner first so I'm just going to outline my lips with that I love 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 this lip liner it's so pigmented so pretty honestly if you're going on a date fill your lips and make sure your lipstick is in place you're using a matte really long wearing lipstick I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Rouge signature matte lipstick this is in the shade I choose it's a nice pinky nude color if you don't know how to choose the perfect nude lipstick for your date then you should try out the virtual try on feature on Amazon while shopping they have a virtual try on option so you can just switch on the selfie camera on your phone and try out the lipstick shade how it looks on you with makeup without makeup so you know what you're buying this color is honestly really pretty it's a nice pinky nude color and this formula is very long wearing and matte but it's also not super drying so by the end of the date your lips will not be super dry and pro tip if you're going on a date honey carry your lipstick in your bag you might need to touch up if you're coming back home you can't just explain all of that lipstick went away with food that excuse ain't nobody buying it just dab it in place and voila that's your makeup look all complete so that was it for the super fun and chatty valentines get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed all the tea i had to spill about my dating fails and also this makeup look if you're going to try this out for valentines don't forget to tag me in your makeup selfies on instagram my handle is sara sarosh with an extra h after sarosh also all the products that i've shopped in today's video are from amazon beauty they are running some great offers on their website right now so don't forget to check out all the shopping links i've added for you in the description box i would also like to thank Amazon Beauty for partnering with me for today's video. I really hope you have somewhere to go this Valentine's even if you don't just go have a date with yourself. Plug in your earphones, go at Domino's, have a nice cheesy cheese burst pizza. That's honestly something I've done before and I love doing it. I enjoy my own company so much. I also really hope you're enjoying all the YouTube shots I'm putting for Valentine's week, which is something we are doing for Valentine's. But that was all you guys for this super chatty Valentine's get ready with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you really liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know all your Valentine's plans in the comment section and also some dating fails. Let me have a good laugh because I'm sure you did. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. Mm.